All right, welcome to One Step Equations. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to solve equations, and, and we call them One Step Equations because there's only one operation, whether it's adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. And they're one step, one operation. A lot of times you can just use mental math uh, to get the answer, and we'll show you some examples where that takes place. Uh, you're going to use one of these operations, add, subtract, multiply, or divide, to solve these one step equations. And when you solve an equation, you have to remember you want to get the variable by itself, whether it's x or y or d. You want that variable isolated on one side of the equal sign. So we're going to look at several different types of one-step equations. Okay, so this first one, x solving x minus 5 equals negative 13. And so you might be able to use mental math to get that answer. What number, when you subtract 5, gives you negative 13? Okay. So what I did first is rewrite the equation. And I noticed that the only operation I see is subtraction. So the idea here is to solve the equation, we have to undo the operation we see. To undo subtraction, we're going to use addition. Okay, so instead of subtracting 5 or taking away 5, we're going to add 5 to both sides. Now these are equations, so you have to keep the equation balanced. If you do something to one side of the equation, you have to do it to the other. So if we add 5 to the left side of the equation, we have to add 5 to the right side of the equation. So negative 13 plus 5 is negative 8, and notice how negative 5 and positive 5 cancel, they're additive inverses, so you're left with x equals negative 8. So it's important to remember now that the variable that's by itself and the coefficient in front of that variable is 1. So the coefficient is the number in front of the variable, you don't see it there, it is 1. So we have x equals negative 8. You can check your answer, does negative 8 minus 5 equal negative 13? That's a true statement, so you know your answer is correct. In example two, we're going to look at another one-step equation. And you don't see an operation here, but you have negative 4x equals 1. So the operation is multiplication. So to undo multiplication, we simply divide. So when you talk about equation, again, multiply both sides, or excuse me, divide both sides by the same number. You might be able to use mental math. Negative 4 times what number is 1? Well, the answer would be negative 1 fourth. But how do we get that? Well, to undo multiplication, you divide each side by negative 4. Negative 4 divided by itself is 1, and you're left with x on the left side. 1 divided by negative 4 is negative 1 fourth, so x is equal to negative 1 fourth. You can check your answer. Negative 4 times its um, inverse does give you 1, so negative 4 times negative 1 fourth is 1. Again, another true statement. So we've solved another equation. In this case, we use division. We undid multiplication with division. Our third equation involves a fraction. Okay? So we have solving 10 equals negative 2 thirds m. So our variable is m in this case. Now, you might see the fraction and think division. Well, look what's happening. Negative 2 thirds times m. So in order to undo the multiplication, we're going to divide again. Okay, you can divide, or you can actually go one step further and just multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, because we want that number in front of the variable to be 1. Anytime you multiply a number by its reciprocal, you get 1. So uh, we're actually going to multiply each side by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of negative 2 thirds is negative 3 halves. So in red here, you've seen that I multiply each side by the reciprocal. And what happens here, negative 2 thirds times its reciprocal, that equals 1. Okay, so you're left with m on the right side, and 10 times negative 3 halves is negative 15. You can do some simplification there. 2, be, two goes into 10 5 times, 2 goes into itself 1. So we get negative 15. You can check your answer. Does 10 equal negative 2 thirds times negative 15? Well, that's equal to 30 over 3, which is 10. So it does work out, and that's our solution. It's important with some of these fractions, sometimes the mental math um, can get a little more challenging, especially working with fractions, and that's why we continue to use the algebraic method instead of guessing and checking. 
All right, our next example we're going to solve. x over 5 equals negative 30. Now, x divided by 5, okay, to undo division, we multiply. So x over 5 is the same thing as saying 1 fifth x, so we're going to multiply each side by the reciprocal. It's important to realize if you have a fraction here and you're multiplying, multiply by what's in that denominator because they will cancel out. So x over 5, you're going to multiply each side by 5. Okay, So when you multiply each side by 5, the 5's become 1, and you're left with x equals negative 150. Uh, check your answer. Negative 150 over 5, does that equal negative 30? It does, so my answer is correct. And we can move on. Our last slide is, it goes back to adding or subtracting, but I wanted to address this subtracting a negative number idea. And so it's still a one-step equation because there's only one operation, but we actually have to simplify first. So we're going to eliminate the double negative. And to do that, we, when you subtract a negative number, it, that just becomes addition. So instead of r subtracting negative 2, you get r plus 2 equals 5, and here's that mental math. What number plus 2 is 5? The answer is 3. So those are one-step equations. If you can use mental math, I would strongly suggest you use that, but you can do the uh, algebraic steps. And remember, just think about undoing whatever operation that you see. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.